welcome back to my channel. This is Yomi Brown of Yomi Crocheology. In today's tutorial is this petite flower applique that you can use any of your projects at home. And at the moment I will be using this for our Isabel puff sleeve top that sooner or later in a week or two I will upload this beautiful gradient dress. So as you can see here, it has a nice open lace stitches and the color is just amazing. So if you like my content that talks about crochet and styling our crochet pieces, please smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So let's get started. So this is the yarn that we will be using. It's the same yarn that we use for the Isabel top and it is the cotton twirl and we have the three millimeter hook. That's our working hook some pearls or beads whatever you prefer i'll be using the diamonds and then of course don't forget to needle and a fabric glue so i already have here some of the petite flower um finish some with diamonds already some don't have diamonds yet and i will show you guys how to attach diamonds so this one here is pretty much ready to be attached to our isabel top so grab your yarn and your hook and we will start with a magic circle so this is how i make a magic circle if you have your own way please proceed so i have here my magic circle with a hole in the middle and then a chain of two one and two so this time we will double crochet in the middle of the circle so yarn over insert your hook into the circle and yarn over and pull it through so you should have three yarns in your hook right now yarn over and pull it through to the first two yarns in your hook like so and yarn over and pull it through till the end so that is a double crochet and you need three more of that double crochet so that's two and three and then a chain of two one and two and then into this circle you have to slip stitch so that completes the first petal so you have to pull it aside in the side so you have more space for the rest of the petals so again start another petal by chaining two one and two and then double crochet three times into the circle so yarn over insert your hook and yarn over pull it through should have three yarns in your hook right now and yarn over and pull it through in the first two yarn over and pull it through till the end so that's your double crochet again you need another two so that's two and three And then chain of two, one and two, and then slip stitch to the magic circle. So there you go, you have two petals right now for your petite flower. So let's start the third petal for our little flower. So chain of two again, one and two. And then double crochet three times, so that's one, two, and three and then chain of two to end this petal slip stitch to the magic circle so there you go you have three petals and again start the fourth petals so chain two and then three double crochet so that's one two and three and then chain of two one and two and then slip stitch to the magic circle so that ends your fourth petal and we need another one to make it five so chain of two again one and two and then three double crochet into the magic circle so that's one and two 
and three. And chain of two, one and two, and slip stitch to the magic circle. So there you go, we're done with our little flower. Now pull the tail of your magic circle to tighten the middle of your flower. And then you have to make a single crochet into the base of your chain two at the beginning of the round just to attach the two petals together. So we're done with our little flower. That's what it looks like right now and it's ready to be attached to our Isabel top. So I have here the Isabel top, some of them is already attached. So what are you going to do first is have a play around, put your little flowers around your top and have a good look. How do you want them to look like, you know, if you're using a different colors of the yarn. Have a play around and see if you like what your flower looks like, where do you want them. Once you're happy, you can attach them to your top. Grab the yarn that you've been using for this project and a needle and of course your choice of embellishments whatever you want to use pearl bead diamonds it's really up to you so make sure you, you stitch just first layer of your cup if you're following the Isabel top this is double-sided cup the thread shouldn't be seen at the back of your top bring you closer a little bit so we will attach another flower to our Isabel top so I'll show you closer the diamond that I'm using it has a holes in the side so it's easy for my needle to go through and just like that you will attach it into the flower and to make sure you don't go through all the way at the back of your top and just arrange them however you want them to be. So continue sewing your little flowers to your top with the beads or pearls or whatever you want to the top of your flowers and I'll meet you at the end of that.
So that's it, we're all done. The petite flower is attached to our Isabel top and it looks so gorgeous. So if you're interested in the tops tutorial, please refer in the description below or in the card above for the tutorial. And also stay tuned for the next few weeks because this gorgeous top will turn into a different level of beauty. So thank you so much for staying with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and please don't forget to tag me any of your work into my social accounts. I would love to see all your work. It amazes me and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you again sometime next week. Goodbye!